Hello guys, um, I haven't posted a wee video in ages just because I've basically ran out of ideas and lost a wee bit of interest but um, tonight I'm going to do something different. Um, I'm going to cook a wee Simply Cook meal. Um, it's a UK based sort of meal subscription service where you get uh, the recipe and three wee spice pots which are just behind me there. Um, tonight I'm going to be cooking jambalaya. We've had this a good few times before and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm looking forward to cooking it. Um, on on we go. So on the recipe card, it tells you exactly the ingredients you need to buy and the, the measurements and also how you need to cut them up or separate them. So let's go. So we've got chicken thigh fillets, which have been marinated in the Cajun seasoning, we pot you get. Um, the spring onions are for your wee garnish after. Um, chorizo, 80 grams, chopped up. You're meant to chop this up a wee bit smaller, but I like it chunky because it's nice whenever it's fried. Um, there's peppers and onions there. It's only meant to be a small white onion, but I had a wee bit of red onion left, so I chucked it in too. And then we're adding the optional prawns. I only half a bag of um, smallish prawns left, so they're getting chucked in too. Then we have the 120 grams of basmati rice. I've just rinsed it there, so that's just draining. And then I have celery. I never really use celery, so whenever I do, it, it, all the recipes I use, they only ask for one stick of celery, so you obviously know there's a couple of sticks on every, well, a couple, probably about five or six sticks in every celery. So I ended up cutting the rest of it up and freezing it, and it works well in the recipe. So this is a wee stick of celery in a frozen bag. I just want to add as well, since my last Ninja video, I've purchased another Ninja product. I think it's like an addiction. But um, the, the Stay Sharp knife set, brilliant. Cut everything up tonight with them, and they're actually really So that's good. us ready to cook. So for step one, we've coated the chicken. So we now just have to fry the chicken in the pan. So here's the chicken, we're just going to chuck it in. I'm going to preheat the Ninja on saute mode. Uh, I'm going to use three. There's five settings, but three seems to be the best one for frying. It's not too hot, too, not too cold. So let's preheat it. And then I'll spritz it with some oil. And then we'll throw the chicken in when it's ready. That's me ready with my Ninja foodie. Yeah, but on. So that's a ninja, it's been preheating for what's that say? About four minutes, so it, it's it's gonna be hot enough. So we're just gonna chuck the, the coated chicken in. This is two chicken thighs cut up with the, the Cajun seasoning over the top of it. So hopefully there'll be a sizzle here. Oh. We've got a, an assistant here who's gonna be doing some of the cooking. <laughs> So that needs to cook in the pan until it's cooked like crispy and go or not crispy, I think it just says what it says. Um fry the chicken in the pan until golden and then we're even set aside. So this is probably gonna take maybe about I don't know, ten minutes or so. But not bore you, so whenever it's cooked, we'll come back. So that's chicken kinda uh been on for about three minutes. Um so probably need about another maybe what four or five minutes. Um it smells gorgeous though. So that's been on about six minutes. Um it looks nice. Um, I don't think it's cooked quite, quite right through. So we're gonna try and test the temperature with the thermometer, um, and then we'll see. All right. So that's been cooking for what? About about ten minutes. Um, and that's the chicken thigh cooked through. Um, it looks like there's stuff burnt to the bottom. But that's clever. We're mm -hmm. gonna lift it out, put it in the bowl, and then get the tray to on the go. So step two. Fry the vegetables, add the chorizo to the same pan, fry for two minutes. So, I'm going to throw the chorizo in. Here we go. There we go. So, we're going to fry it for two minutes, and then we'll get back to you. So, we're loosening the stuff that was on the bottom left of the chicken. I actually used to freak out and think that everything was burnt to the bottom of it, but it's not. This stuff is flavour. You want that. So, that's a chorizo starting to sizzle and fry at the bottom. Oh, it smells lovely. It tells you in the recipe to cut it up into small cubes, but we like it chunky. The last time we put in the small cubes, I think we cooked it too long and it was too small and it was like crunchy. So we left it a wee bit chunky this time, but um, mm, it'll be gorgeous. So that's a treat. So it's been frying for maybe about three minutes. Um, because we've cut it a wee bit chunkier, we've had to cook it a bit longer, but that's fine by me. Um, so the next point, the next stage is. Let me see, sorry. Add the garlic paste, onion, pepper and celery and cook for 3-4 to four minutes, meanwhile boil the kale. So we're going to add these ingredients, so that's the onions, the peppers and my frozen celery. So, so this is the garlic paste going in, it's the second pot you get with the kit. It's 
actually quite tasty. I taste the wee drop of myself. <laughs> uh, it's lovely. It's really, really strong, but that's fine by me. Garlic is all good. Then after that, you have to throw in the peppers, onions, and celery. So we'll do that. Uh, just throw the celery in, and uh, everything else has to go in too. So, as I said before, it was only meant to be a green pepper, but we only have yellow. Um, white onion chopped up finely, and then with a wee bit of sliced up red onion from Mankini last night, actually. That's where it's from. <laughs> so, that's going in too. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. So I'll come back to you whenever this is simmered. Actually, hold on, I don't do this yet. Um, so this needs to cook for like three to four minutes, so I'll come back to you in about four minutes. So that's it being frying for about two minutes, but oh my god, I wish it would smell everything. That was, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Full garlic fest, but mm, another couple of minutes. So that's a veg, um, the veg, the been frying up for three to four minutes, as it says in the recipe. Um, we're going to add the rice. So this is 120 grams of basmati that's been rinsed. Um, go dump it in. Along with 400 mils of boiling water. So that goes in. Give it a good mix. So in the recipe it says bring to the boil. Sorry, bring to the boil, and then reduce the heat to medium low and cover with a lid. So, we're going to maybe bump it up to four, bring it to the boil. I'm the ninja, start. Bring this to the boil with the rice in it, and then turn it down to two. But I've found on the ninja, two is quite low, and three is too high, so <laughs> we're going to probably alternate it between, but we'll get it. I forgot to say, you have to add this wee pot too, so that's going in now. <laughs> Jambalaya stock pot, is it? I think you call it. Uh -huh. Let's see. Yeah, jambalaya stock, so that's what's going in now. Oh, it's turned it nice bright. If you want to get every single drop of the jambalaya stock, or any kind of liquid, if you're making something watery, just chuck the pot in. Mix it about, and you're getting every single bit of it. <laughs> you don't want to waste any flavour. That's it on the boil. Um, I'm going to turn it down to... I'm going to turn it down to two, because three sometimes is still too high. And then I'm going to close the lid and let it simmer. Oh wow, it smells gorgeous. Mm. So this has been on for about 10 minutes on the setting two on the Ninja. To be honest with you, I think it's, setting two is a bit weird. It's like too low and setting three is too high. So I'm going to bump it up to setting three and just give away a angle. Because I want the crispy base. So that's it. I've just turned it up to three and left it for a few minutes um, on the three setting on saute. Um, it's definitely frying a wee bit more. The set, set number two seems to be below medium low, so and three seems to be too much. But um, I'll keep my eye on it here. I just want the base to be crispy. Because it's going to have a little rice here, so it's good. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> Another few minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. So, we decided to cook it a wee bit longer on setting three. And, um... Yeah, look at that though, it's starting to crisp up in the bottom, look at that, that's perfect. I think we're going to put the chicken in next, but bear with me, just want to check this. Yeah, so we did an off-screen taste test there, and the rice is definitely cooked. And look at that, oh, look at the crispy in the bottom, yum. Do you want to chuck the chicken back in again? My lovely assistant here. <laughs> and the prawns, we're using frozen prawns, but we've defrosted um, for 24 hours. Um, they're kind of small prawns because uh, my camera assistant doesn't like big prawns, so we're using small prawns. <laughs> yeah, so that's the prawns chucked in, um, and the recipe it says to oh god, what to say? Oh yeah, return the chicken and prawns to the pan which we've done. Mix well and let it cook uncovered for two more minutes. So yeah, two more minutes. I think it might turn it down a bit because I don't want it burning, so I'm going to turn it down to two. Come on. And let it sit for two minutes and then we'll check the temperature but wow look at that i wish you could smell this it's amazing so that's it cooked for the time specified so we're just about to dish it up get in there <laughs> so that's it diced up so um, let's add the extras to it so 
spring onions and a wee squeeze of lemon. There's spring onions on. I've never actually added lemon juice to this. I don't think so. Have I? No. No, I don't. So I'm going to add a wee squeeze of lemon juice over to it. I think I'll add like a wee bit of tartness to it, if you know what I mean. Like, um, there we go. Mm. Hope this doesn't ruin it. Mmm, <laughs> there we go. Jambalaya. Gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah.